Welcome to another video from Excellent CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, I will show you how to create dependent drop down list using Excel tables. You may think why we should use Excel tables because I have already explained two different methods for the same purpose. So, first of all, let me show you why we should use Excel tables and then we will go into the step by step process. Here in this table, we have a list of few countries and cities. And these countries are listed in this drop down list here England, United States, Australia. Let me select Australia and see the second drop down list will update for that change. See the cities of Australia are listed here Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, and Canberra. Let me select England and the second drop down list will update London, Liverpool, Manchester, Cambridge. Now the reason why we should use excel tables. Let me add another country here, India and a few cities of India, Mumbai, Delhi, Hyderabad. Now check the first drop down list. See the first drop down list got updated and India is listed here. We will select India. Check the second drop down list and the list of cities in India are listed here. So, this is exactly why we should use Excel tables while creating dependent drop down list. So, let me show you how to create dependent drop down list using Excel tables. Let me close this demo file. Don't save. We'll open a new file. Same list of countries and cities. Now the first step to create a dependent drop down list using excel tables and that is nothing but convert this data into an excel table. Select any of these cells here, insert, table, create table dialog is activated, my table has headers, ok. See the data has been converted into an excel table, table 1, we will remove the filter button. Now I will name this table as cities press enter when i select cities from this excel name box so the table called cities is selected now the first drop down list containing list of countries we have the countries in these cells let me select these cells and name it to country list country underscore list when I select country list from excel name box this particular data range is selected and we are going to use the same name to create a drop down list here we'll select this cell go to the data tab data validation validation criteria list equal type in the name of the cells containing countries country list ok see we have a small down arrow here click on it and we have the list of countries here England United States and Australia now the third step which is creating a name to the cell for that I will select this cell in the excel name box. I will name this cell as country. So when I select the name country from the name box, this particular cell is selected. Now the fourth step that is creating a formula which will populate the list of cities of the country selected here. For that we will use index match formula equal index open parenthesis array array will be this table containing cities type in cities see the table called cities comma we are not going to use row number here so once again comma third argument column name here we will use match function match open parenthesis 
first argument lookup value lookup value is the country selected in this cell called country so type in country here see the name range called country is listed here country is selected comma second argument lookup array and the lookup array will be the name range containing countries type in country see country list is listed here and the name range called country list is selected comma zero for an exact match close parenthesis once again close parenthesis and press the enter key so we have the list of the cities of the country selected here let me change the country england so the list got updated if you're using an older version of excel you won't see the remaining values but don't worry you can use the same formula now to use the same formula to create a drop down list here we have to create a name for this formula for that i will copy this formula copy escape formulas define name We'll name this formula as city list. Now paste the copied formula here. Okay. Now to create a drop down list using the name which we created now, select the cell, data, data validation, list, equal. Type in the name we just created, city list. Okay, and we have a drop down list here, which contains the cities of England, London, Liverpool, Manchester, Cambridge. Let me change the country, United States, and the list of cities updated. We don't need this formula anymore. Let me delete this. Now let me add another country here, India, few cities of India, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Delhi, back to the first drop down list, see India is listed here, see the second drop down list, that also got updated, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Delhi. Let me add a new city here, Kochi. Again, the second drop down list will update. Let me add another country, Mexico, Guadalajara, Mexico, Guadalajara. And as you know, Excel table will expand vertically too. So let me add two new cities to United States. Atlanta, Detroit, back to the first drop down list, United States, Atlanta, Detroit. So this is exactly why we should use Excel tables while creating dependent drop down list. I really hope you got something new from this video. If you have enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel so that you won't miss any future video releases. Thanks for watching. Wish you a great day.